you get receipts, think it's sweet I won't sugarcoat it, I'm the missing piece Got you puzzle, brace your buckle, know you fit in the teeth We get good and disagree, I'ma do what's best for me No we fuss and fight, the girls don't need to be the referee Especially when you pay fortunes that do not resemble me So you're telling me what's paradise is like Hey guys, welcome back to the channel And today, I have another video for you guys Coming at you Um I'm sorry I haven't posted, it's been like what? I wanna say like two weeks maybe. Yes, I'm in my house right now. I'm not in the truck. I'm taking my 34 hour reset. Um, these last two weeks, man, have been so, so hectic. I tell you this right now. It's just been, I've been really busy with work. I just haven't had any time to actually record anything. Um, so I think right now they're doing some construction on the George Washington Bridge, so it's like, this has been very stressful these last two weeks. But today, anyway, today I wanted to talk about how to get your CDO in 2023. Now, I've been meaning to make this video, and I'm kind of going to start making a few videos, like kind of like mix up my channel, not just everything, you know, vlogs and whatever other stuff. The vlogs are still going to be there. I'm still going to do them. But I kind of wanted to get your guys' judgment on like these type of style type of videos where I just literally just give you guys information on the trucking industry and you know what did you guys want to talk about here for all the newer guys who want to actually get into getting your cdl um especially now in 2023 is completely different how it was a, long, a while ago uh, i believe when i got mine i had to uh, they had just passed a law i believe it was february 6th february of, of 6 i believe february 6th of 2022 so before how you were able to get your cdl so kind of like your um Kind of like your regular driver's license, you know, if you had somebody who had a tractor and a trailer, you know, stuff like that and had their CDO and they wanted to teach you the ropes and teach you everything like that, you could have, you know, gone that way. They taught you, then you would have gone to just an RMV, get, you know, a state trooper with you, do the test with them, you know, you could have done it that way. Now, there still was the option to go to school, but it wasn't like mandatory. Now, after that date, now they had made it. Uh, mandatory the government has made it mandatory that you have to go to a school now um now for me i did so every school is different every school is different now you can get your license earlier or, or later and i'm gonna go through the different options of of how you can actually get your cdl license because i know a lot of people are, are, are um, kind of stuck uh so i'm gonna show you guys the options you know how to get your license, what process you got to have to go through, um, and all that stuff. So with the school that I went to, I went to Nets, and that's up here in uh, New England. So they got a couple of schools. I think they have one in Connecticut, uh, Rhode Island, uh, Mass, and somewhere, I, I believe other places, but that's the general area that, that I, I believe that they have schools. Now, you don't have to go to that school specifically. There's definitely other schools uh, that you can go to to get your CDO. Um, I just went to that one. Now, payment wise. So obviously, you guys understand when you're going to get this license, it's gonna cost you some some money. Now, at the school that I went to, they had a, I believe it was a shorter like program. I don't know if it was like three months or or two months or something like that. But you had to pay out of pocket. So you, if you had like five grand, you could pay that out of pocket, or you can go do the six month uh program where um it pretty much acts like it's well it's like school technically like it's like you're going, going to college so you can get covered by either grants pell grants or student loans and stuff like that to pay it now obviously it's a it's more money because you're going for a longer term but you're you're covered if you don't have the five grand um up front uh so i believe their tuition is like eleven thousand or twelve thousand dollars so that's what I ended up going with. So I went and applied for the student uh, student loan. I got a couple grants and I think a student loan at the end of it, which was not that bad. Um, and uh, pretty much yeah, it just covered everything. Um, now it it all depends. I think but when I went there, it they took uh, pre they took the uh, taxes from pre COVID. So I didn't ha I didn't had made that much at that time. So I wasn't really making money at that time. So. Uh, it was pretty easy for me to apply and get the full amount. 
Um, it all depends on, you know, how much you make. I don't know. Well, now since it's 2023, I don't know which tax they might be using the one from 2022 or the past years before that. I don't know how it is now, but I'm just letting you guys know what it is for me. If you guys didn't make that much, then you might get a lot of Pell Grants or just grants in general. And then um, the, you might have that you might have to get a student loan uh, to cover the rest. It all depends on your situation. But that's how I did it. Now, um, that's how you're going to have to get your CDL. Now, there's a plenty of other, like... Um, there's plenty of other schools, like I said, that you could go to. Now, um, I've heard of other routes where you can also go apply at a like a, like a big company, like a Snyder, uh, Western Express. I don't know if Western Express does it, but like just think about all the other big companies. You can apply there and you know, tell them that you want to get your CDL. <clears throat> now, what they'll do is they'll pay for your classes. They'll pay for your program. Now, I have heard of places where these big companies where if they pay for your CDL, you're pretty much under a contract, I believe, for like a year or so. Now, there's pros and there's cons to that just because of the fact that they paid for this shit. So, which means either some companies have you under contract where you have to stay underneath them for a year to complete the year. And then after that, then you can, you know, leave or do whatever you want to do because your CDL has already been paid for technically. Or other companies make it so they're they're not you're not under a contract like that like so like if you want to leave obviously I believe that you have to pay them back because they did pay for your schooling but if you want to leave you're not like tied to them either way you're paying for it either way this is it is what it is you're paying for it in the fact that when you get out of school and if you go with another company they might not pay you what you want to get paid and that you know you got you outweigh the pros and the cons you know what i'm saying what i'm saying like if your situation everybody's situation is completely different and you know i'm not judging anybody for that me personally if my advice would be you know bite the bullet and just you know take out the student loan or if you have the five grand then you know pay that up front so you can get it over with um now this is i'm just the five grand is just for like that's for the school that i went to now every school is different every school charges is different so you know don't just don't take it at face value just know that you can pay up front for it, you know, and that's not a guarantee. Listen, both both ways you go is not a guarantee or any way you go is not a guarantee that you'll actually get your license. Now, they'll try to help you as much as you can, but you have to pass the state trooper exam. Like, that's the way that you'll, you'll get your license. Regardless of anything, that's the way you're going to get it. Um, there's no and or, in ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's the way you got to go. And I've seen guys go through this whole six-month program and not be able to get their license you know the well they'll get their license some of them get their license and some of them don't like some of them just continuously fail and fail and fail and fail so this is a very mental thing that you're gonna have to go through like if you really really want your license um but yeah so those are the those are the methods now if you go through the company like i said like if you go through like a company or whatever and they pay for it then you gotta go through there. You gotta go through the school's program. Once you complete the school program and get your CDL, then they'll put you on a training program with their uh, company. And now every company is different. Every company has a different training program. I've seen some for like a month to whatever. So just know that for your first six months, first six, seven, eight months, you're not gonna be making that much money, just because the fact that you're new and you're just learning the ropes. But just take that time. Don't think of it as, damn, I'm not getting paid as much as I should be getting paid. Just think about it as you're getting the training wheels on. And after, you you know, you start getting the hang of it and you're good, training wheels come off. Then, you know, if you want to ask for more pay or if you want to go somewhere else, they'll pay you better. Then, you know, you can always leverage that. But just remember that those, you know, six months to a year, it's, you know, I got lucky because I just got lucky, you know. Um, I had, when I... I'll tell you how I went through the process of doing it. So I, I did the six months program. I went to the school, I applied for the loan, I got approved. Um, and I started. So how they do it over there is they do three months in school. So you're learning, you know, your book work, you know, you're learning, you're getting your, your permit in the first two weeks. And so they split it in two weeks, you know, two weeks is a, is a new chapter, new chapter, new chapter, you know, as so on and so forth. They teach you how to read a map. Um, the uh, you use the uh, what do you call it, the atlas 
they get they go through hazmat uh tankers uh they go through doubles and triples uh, pretty much everything you need to know book wise laws uh, you name it everything they'll go through it all in that span of three months now uh i've seen a lot of like if you really want your cdl like you're, you're, you're gonna have to hustle for it it's not something that you know you could just lollygag through it um i've seen a lot of guys like barely come to school and then they don't have the enough hours to just complete it to go to the next step which is going to you know the yard and learning how to maneuver the tractor so a lot of guys get stuck to the point where like most guys don't pass that point some people i've seen a lot of people just quit and just drop off like i'm telling you my class when we first started had like 40 something people in it and to the end of it when i finished and got my license there was only like probably like 10 of us left from my class so this is something that you have to understand that is not something that you can just pick up and drop like this is something that's going to be a commitment that you're going to make in your life that you want to succeed and you want to you know get higher you don't want to go higher so if that's what you want to do by all means i mean by all means go get your cdl so right now uh i went through that process like i said i went through that process finished that did the three months in school and then did the three months in the yard so they teach you parallel parking side uh side side blind side and then they teach you uh, alley dock uh teach you driving and uh, i forgot i forgot the other thing man i literally forgot but you pretty much get the the whole the whole gist now going to school is not going to teach you how to actually like they're not going to teach you everything you, you you need to know when you get on the road like this is just to pass the test so once you pass the test um then you get your experience driving with a company and then that's when you'll start learning how it is to really be out there because school can teach you so much and it won't teach you everything you need to know in the real world it'll just teach you enough to pass the exam now with the exam now some schools do it this way so i had to pass the school's exams first and i and then once i passed their exam then i needed to pass obviously the actual license the cdl with the state trooper um you'll do i think it's air brakes uh what is it air brakes they do and then you're doing the uh pre-trip and you're going through the whole truck and the whole trailer after that you do your maneuvers um now these maneuvers are random like they're not going to tell you what you have for maneuvers they'll just hey oh you're, you're now you're going to do this now you're going to do that blah blah, blah 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 and then you go they go down the line you pass your maneuvers then they'll take you on the road and if you pass all that they sign your license and you're good to go bro this there's this license that you have is literally going to be the most expensive thing that you own so take care of it and cherish it because your license is literally the most important thing that you might have in your life i mean obviously besides like your family all that stuff comes first but your license you take care of that i've seen a lot of guys just keep continuously just they pass a test and they go back on smoking weed or go back on doing whatever the fuck they're doing and then they go to the, the they go to a company and then that company does hair, you fuck, you know what I'm saying? Or that company does it, it all depends, bro. Just stay off of the shit. That's all I'm saying. Stay off of the shit. We don't want people to be driving now with you know with weed and stuff like that. I know it's like legal in some states, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? But federally, it hasn't been legalized. Once it's legalized, just like alcohol, like you know what I'm saying? Like obviously, don't drink and drive, but on your free time, you know. But with weed or anything else, any other type of drug that's off limits. Just save your license. Don't do anything stupid. Try to stay clean for the love of God. If you do it now, you cut it off. By the time you go into school, you you know, you start building up a, a tolerance to it. You're like, okay, I don't really need to do that shit. So by the time you, you're done with school and you're ready to go for your, to get go work, you'll be fine. You'll be straight. You don't have to worry about that. So that's my advice to you guys. Please, for the love of God, protect your CDL because that's the most important thing now. Uh, I'm not bleeding. I just had popped a pimple. I might be bleeding if you guys see that. But anyway, um, I started working with them with NFI, and I was there for I want to say six months in that account. Now, that account pays, I believe, is fifty cents a mile. Um, it's not great uh, to be honest with you, but it's just that account, and it's something to be getting out of school, which is is like okay, I'll get my experience here, and I'll go through it, go through the process. Then they do, I think it's 50 cents, and they pay you for every trailer that you pick up. 
um, and they do do they do do uh, borough pay because that job you had to go to uh, New York every day. So you'd go into Queens, Long Island. I'm uh, sorry, not Long Island. Long Island, uh, uh, Long Island City. Uh, sometimes the Bronx, and then you'll sometimes you'll go to the Newark. Uh, sometimes you'll go to places in New Jersey. <clears throat> so you do have to cross a bridge, come back. So it's a lot of like. If you guys know anything about I-95, going that way, it's very hectic. The city's like that and just crossing the bridge. It's just ridiculous. I think that me personally, they just didn't pay enough to do that route or to do that run or to even work for them in general on that account. And that's my honest opinion. And that's why I want you guys to understand. Even though I work for this company, I'm going to give my honest opinion regardless of everything. It just what it is, what it is. Because I feel like I'd rather be straight honest with you guys than to try to lie for a company. Even though they treat me well and they treated me well ever through since. And I have nothing to complain about it. You know, they've been really good for me. So, but at the end of the day, it's something I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is what it, what it is. Um, so I did that for six months. And then finally I was like, dude, like I'm tired of doing this shit. Because like at the end of the day, this account doesn't pay well for what I want. So I was like, okay. Um, I asked... Uh, my manager because I was like dude I want to go regional I want to see if what's out there because you know you want to get your experience doing other things and um, one thing I'm going to say like if you don't have a, if you're by yourself then cool if you have a, 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 a significant other or you got responsibilities at home you know regional it will be okay just because you're out for like a week Monday through Friday and you're back on the weekends so that'll be good but if you're an over the road guy and if that's what you want to do by all means go do that you know Everybody is entitled to what they want to do. So um, that's what I did. So because it was in the company, I was able to transfer fairly pretty easily. Um, and my manager gave a good, you know, reference just because I didn't really give him a reason to not give me a good reference. I was a, I was a good driver. I didn't have any crazy accidents. I was safe. Um, I took care of my shit. Like everything was, you know, pretty much down the line straight with four with me. So he gave my reference. And I had uh, the account call me and be like, hey, listen, we want you to come, blah, blah, blah. So this account is uh, in uh, Virginia. So that's their home base. And they haul Anheuser-Busch products, beer, uh, all types of shit. Whatever, the, whatever they sell is what they haul. Um, so I started with them. I've been with them for about, I want to say, two months. And I'm going to tell you this right now. And if I, I don't know how it is with their flatbed division or the reefer or anything like that. I do know about the water and the beer. The beer definitely pays a lot more than the water. I'll tell you that right now. It is a night and day difference. Just, just my honest opinion is a night and day difference. Uh, dispatch is a lot better down there. Um, just the whole system that they have going is great. It is a great system. If I had to vouch for them, I would 100% hands down. They're really good at what they do. They give you your runs that you need. And you're always going to be, at, you're always going to be working. You know what I'm saying? You're never going to be like, you know, they, they take care of your trucks and obviously like pre-trip your trucks and, you know, take care of your shit. You know, you don't want to be driving on the road with a fucked up truck, a fucked up trailer. But um, they're really good people. Hands down. I, I want to say been good with me. They pay me well. Um, they do do borough pay, um, all that stuff. But now uh, the... Uh, they basically, you know, you're going, when I was doing it for like, a, I started, I believe it was like a month. I was doing it for a month and I was going regional. So I was going from New Hampshire down to Virginia and I would do like runs down there, come back up. You know, if I, if they wanted me to go to uh, upstate New York, I was doing those runs and all that stuff. So that's like the normal run. Like, and, and they'll route you to what you want to do. Now for me, because I had that experience going into New York city and driving like in that head tick, like thing every day like this is ridiculous traffic if anybody who's driven down in new york city especially with you know tractor trailer and all that stuff that you guys know how bad it is so um i had asked them i said hey uh you know do you guys have any loads going down to new york city just just by by just co sheer, the sheer coincidence they did they had loads going into bronx which is a that's hectic as well i mean I make it look easy, but I have my days, bro, when it's like, oh, it's so, it, it's stressful, man. It's stressful. It's not as easy at it as it is, you know, just, you're going down to Virginia and coming back or, you, you know, you're doing those routes where it's a lot easier to do. These routes are a lot, you go, you're in tighter turns. People on the road are just driving like crazy, like 
you have to have your eyes behind your back at all times. This is what it is. That job, that route is very stressful, but it is very rewarding. And if you can do it, and if you're crazy enough like me to do it, then, you know, by all means. But that's what I did. And so they uh, they pay extra, obviously, to go into the barrel. And with the cent per mileage over there, I think over there is like 62. And then you can, that's when you first start. So obviously, after a while, I'm pretty sure you could probably negotiate after, hey, listen, I don't want to get paid, blah, blah, blah. So they'll negotiate with you. I don't know, like it all depends. I hope so, but that's how it is. Either they negotiate, whatever you guys want to do after. But that's something you you speak with them. Um. So yeah, after that, and it's been nobody else wanted to do the route over there. I could see why, but nobody else wants to wanted to do it, and I was the only crazy person to do it. So I decided to take it, and it worked out for me really well, just because of the fact that. My house is literally right in between, like, New Jersey, Bronx, all that area, and, to, and Merrimack, New Hampshire. It's, like, literally right in the middle. And I, where I live, I have, like, a, um, there's a truck stop running even, like, a mile away from my house. So, it works literally perfect for me. And it's, like, the perfect route, um, although it's very stressful, but I know how to handle it. So, they don't have an issue with me. So, they what happened was they gave me one or two loads to just try and see how it was how i would do them you know make sure that i was okay with doing them and after they saw that i could do them they just started giving it to me full time so that was just that's like my full time route that's what i do every single day and it's been working for me ever since you know i like i really like the run although like i said it's very stressful and you have to be very patient if you're not like if you're not patient please just don't get your cdl like if you're not if you're not a patient person don't get your cdl that's number one because this job you need a lot of patience and a lot of just relaxation you gotta relax sometimes like you gotta let people do the stupid shit in front of you you're gonna have to deal with like all sorts of stuff bro that's just the life of being a trucker you're just gonna have to deal with shit like that very lucky and i was in i was put in a position where i was able to do that and they saw that i could do it consistently and without any issues i don't give these people any issues like if you're i would say this if you're going into a company um just like just like in the world that we live in, like just solve problems for other people. Like if you can solve a problem for that company, bro, they'll treat you right. They'll take care of you and they'll pay you well. It is what it is. Now you can just chill, you know, do your normal routes and that's cool. But if you go out of your way, I was just lucky. Like other people aren't lucky like this. So I just want to tell you, like, this is just by a case by case experience. Obviously I get paid like a way more than what I was getting paid hauling water. So, which is great, you know, um, so that's one thing um but yeah like if you if you want to excel you just got to stick your neck out there and just see how it goes you know what i'm saying um every company is different that i'm just giving you my experience so with getting your cdl um that's pretty much the process you're going to go through uh if you want to do it by yourself you go to school you pay for it if you want to go through a company then you go through the company but understand there are pros and cons to that obviously you know you're not paying for it um, you know, by that, but you're also paying it for your labor. Now they can decide to pay you whatever they want to pay you. And that's what this is going to be. You know, this, you have to under, understand that you want to sacrifice that year. It's being stuck there. Now, some companies are different. Some companies have it where you can, you leave, but you also have to pay them back. So it all depends. If you want to go do that route, you can go do that route. I'm not saying, I'm not saying every, any route is better than the other. I'm just saying what I took. And what I recommend for you guys is to take that route. Um, you'll learn a lot more. You'll be able to be a little bit more prepared on the road. Um, not that you're gonna learn everything on the road because that's different. You gotta have to work for a company and understand how it is. But um, that's just what I recommend for you guys to do. Um, and for, 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 for all purposes, bro, like if you wanna do this shit, do it and stay committed and don't quit because this is something that will leave you your family and maybe your next generation well off you understand if you're very smart with your money and you're very smart and your own decisions that you make in your life then this will be very fruit like fruitful for you so i just want to say for everybody who's going through it like just i how i started i just i just went and i, I just did it right i didn't think twice i did it and I went through the struggle for those six months, but at the end of the day, I would rather go through that struggle. If I had to do it again, I would do it 12 times over. I would do it again. That's just, you know, that's saying something. 
So if you're on the fence of getting it, I would just say, yo, don't even think about it. Just go and get it because it it will it will leave you really well off in the future. I'm telling you that right now. Like I, I'm I'm well off, bro. I'm well off. I'll just say that. I'll just say that. I'm really well off. So that's gonna be the video for today, guys. I hope this helped you guys. You know, steer you in the right direction, uh, so you guys understand what it takes to get your license um, and uh, what you have to do realistically to get your license. Um, just be wary of where you go to, which school you go to, because, you know, most of the schools are just trying to get like, trying to just put you through a revolving door. Understand, you know, what's their model, what's their policies, you know, how they do work. And just understand that you, you want to learn as much as you can. That's what I'm going to say, because that state exam is not a joke. But I don't know how it is in any other state, but here in Mass, bro, they literally knit they, 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 they pick on every little thing that you do. Like you say something wrong, you fail. You, you, you chalk, you put your chalk blocks and the tractor like rolls just like this much, you fail. They're very meticulous and they want you to understand the shit. You know, that's how, that's why a lot of people fail because some people leave and they don't come back or they come, they, they take the break and they come back and they, they forget everything. As long as you're going there consistently, and you're learning, and you're learning, and you're learning, and you're learning, bro, you'll pass the test 100%. But you got to put in the effort. But yeah, guys, um, that's the video for today. If you guys kind of like this type of style of video, I'll do like, if you guys have Q&As or whatever type of video you guys want me to talk about like in the trucking industry, you guys let me know. Um, but yeah, that's how you guys going to get your CDL in 2023. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, or whatever, you can leave that in the comments. And if you guys did like the video, just like, comment, and subscribe because it helps me, bro. It helps the YouTube algorithm. It helps people watch me, bro. Help a brother out. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't worry, the vlogs are still going to come. The POV driving, they're still going to get here. Don't worry about that. But um, if you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys have the rest, a blessed rest of your day. Be safe out there, guys. Peace.